Jane Frances Mulongo. I am a Loreto sister. I grew up in Bungoma Catholic Diocese, that is the western part of Kenya. And I went through school. I was educated by the Sisters of Mary Diocese and Congregation in Kakamega Diocese. And I was almost joining them. I aspired with them for some time. But then one time there was a gathering of youth in our parish and the facilitator was talking about charisms. This was after my Form 6 and that was the first time I was hearing of the word charism. So we later sat down and looked in a book of different names of congregations and what their charisms were, plus what their apostolates were. That time I was teaching as an untrained teacher. So teaching was the only career that I would associate with. And so we chose several congregations that had the teaching profession. Among them were the Consolata Sisters, Sisters of Mary, the very ones that I was aspiring with, and then Loreto Sisters, and Asumbi Sisters as well. So I wrote application letters and sent them. When my letter arrived here in Loreto, because I had addressed it to the Mother General, Loreto Sisters, the province leader by then, Sister Peter Kleber, had to open it to find out who was this writing to the Mother General. And then she discovered it was a vocation. And she called Sister Katrina, who was in Mombasa at that time, and gave her the information, because Sister Katrina was responsible for vocations promotion in the province. And so the two responded to me. And interestingly, their two responses arrived to me on the same day. You know, in the village, to receive a letter is not so usual. And that time, I was receiving two responses to my one letter from the same congregation. And they were so loving in their wording, in their language, assuring me of the prayers, encouraging me to keep searching, and that they hope God was going to respond to me. So straight away, I chose or I opted for Loreto just because of the response that I got from my application. I also had a boyfriend whom I found very hard to convince, but when I told him that really I'm putting him aside because I want to go to the convent, he was an ex-seminarian, he understood the passion of a vocation. So he said, if it were another man, then the competition would have been stiff. But since it is God, I cannot compete. You go and pray for me that I may also get a good settling in future. So I was free. And my parents told Nola that yes, we have educated her. She's ready to begin earning. But the God who was helping us teach her, educate her, and was giving us what to eat, it is for God, and because it's a sacrifice, we also feel good to be offering something good to God. I am currently the province leader of Eastern Africa province, IBV. It is a challenging job, it's very demanding. It requires a good amount of accountability, transparency, listening, paying attention to the sisters, taking care of their personal needs and their community needs, but trying to be the uniting figure. And so far, God has been faithful to us. I can say there are a good number of things that we are able to do now. I'm hopeful that the future of this province will be in good hands because I can see young responsible women who are uh, enthusiastic and focused.
all for the greater glory of God.